We are a startup based company, all you experience now. And what we do is we try to provide a platform for every logistic operation in the country who can connect together to bring efficiency, bring revenue to, to a logistic provider in the other end to reduce the logistic cost of the shipper. So uh, you could imagine it's like a Uber model, but for for freight, for truck, for cargo, not for passenger. So today, um, I'm really happy to be here as a, a speaker to share with you the development of technology in, in emerging technology in supply chain management. And my presentation cover uh, three topics. Uh, number one is to update you about the world. Uh, what what new, what changed? Uh, and number two, what a reality in market in Vietnam right now? And the third, what the team did away. The presentation may take you uh, 15 minutes, and we may have uh, from there for, for Q and A. Okay, so let me start with the, the photo you may see on the screen. That is the you, you saw the movie uh, Iron Man. Iron Man 10 years ago. Iron Man on the movie. Just last two months, now Iron Man suits can be bought at more than 500 counties, 500 thousand USD for a suit that enable the dream to fly. If you give you a you can fly like that man, the dream. Now, nine suit already orders. Imagine, just 10 years ago, you had uh, no, more than 20 more years ago, Steve Jobs on the first iPhone. Now, before here, you may have iPhone X, and this is more than 100 times, 100 times harder, stronger versus the first iPhone version. Technology will change significantly during the last 10 years, but purely in, in, in logistics, it's not so much. Okay? So now, we will talk a lot about uh, the, the, the fourth revolution. Technology and we talk about digital supply chain. And we, we hear about that the loss, but purely, but, 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 but this is from the place. Supply chain is the area with what we can say, you know, an unpopular market technology. There are not so much changes in, in logistic operations in, uh, in supply chain management. Now, before even in MNC company, are still using a cell phone to update the shipment, to update the delivery schedule, to send email. That kind of, of, of method of working is still popular, right? Uh, right. But that is really a waste. When you send an email, somebody that you open the email, you check the email, that wastes a lot of time. When you the, the tally using the paper to check, to count the item, it is which person you see the lighting or you scan the barcode, right? But those technologies are now very uh, easy, very cheap and uh, affordable now. And uh, what we call the trade in, in manufacturing, they are moving to robotic. Lots of companies, lots of company now moving to robotic because the product life cycle are now are very short. Last year you buy an uh, iPhone 8, next year you will buy iPhone 11. The, the product classic phone, the within three gen phones. Uh, on the other hand, the, the making like consumer good, they are still very on the, the pressure of cost reductions. You know, now the major consumer production company is not guided by new deliver or problem. They are the retailer. For example, in Japan, Kirin used to be the, the number one uh, beverage uh, um, company, but now they just produce based on the order of 7-Eleven. When 7-Eleven told them to, to produce uh, lemons or lime or what kind of, of flavor, then Kirin just produce it. And seven eleven take care of the other. Similarly, Amazon, one of the biggest retailer in the world that you may see now, more than 430 billion revenue just last year, 
and they, they very understand the end user. They know who, by what, and when, and what is the reason. If they can send a, a very attractive promotion to, to end users. That job they uh, change the world in terms of production side and retail size. But we are in the middle, we are logistic people, right? So the pressure to, to our uh, activity, so we can move to uh, next slide. It is really trouble. So uh, there are report uh, to introduce to, to holistic, uh, to holistic uh, picture about the technology that come in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. And today I just quickly update you some key technology. There are six key technology that will be applied soon to help transforming productivity, efficiency, and accuracy in logistic operations. Uh, number one, I want to introduce you, uh, the big data. Okay? Big data now is, is popular. Now we just have information to, to, to look for you. You not look for information. You not call in to check the problem, all right or not. You not call in to check the shipment complete or not. You not call in to check the custom clearance complete or not. That information is without priority. It's notified and they send a message to you. And you play the role to make the decision. Decisions are in the world, not in Vietnam yet, but in the world. Am I right? So, for example, this is a, a clear metal company. This is a startup base, and they provide what we call the control tower. Control tower is amazing to our, our Adidas. You have uh, hundreds of suppliers in China, in, in Vietnam and you have thousands of material suppliers. What you do here when you have demand for gas of an item, you need to track when you order the single material from the sub-level of the, the, the factory, the processing factory. And that system enables you to track, to have visibility on your supply chain. And they are a start, startup base, uh, they are a platform, they provide the in, uh, infrastructure for your operation. So that you you know that it's not necessary to invest heavily on an IT like the Oracle or SAP system anyway. They bring that capability easily for you to apply. This is one case of example to help you have visibility. You you will not need a five or twenty um, accountant or planner just to call in to check to pull up material or the material. Uh, track when the, the, the production and when the finished product uh, arrive the port or deliver to the destination port. This is, it will be changed. Okay. Uh, the second, second about the uh, 3D block uh, box sensor. Now, uh, the barcode was invented more than 20 years ago. Now, what they can scan is a 3D object, not just a 1D or 2D barcode. The 3D object. This kind of technology we we call they scan the object. So you you can imagine that um, the pictures you you read the picture better than uh, a, a lot of digit, right? So this kind of scanner they scan the object and they can identify how many in terms of counting rather than you have to count by your eye or you scan any single one. You just here then you take the photo and you can know how many items. In, in a line or in an area. This is called uh, 3D visioning. 3D visioning. Uh, number three, cloud logistics. Do you imagine that uh, big company in the Oracle, they have a, a perfect solution in the of uh, transportation management name of uh, Oracle TMS. And that uh, solution may cost you from thousands to millions USD. Now those system, uh, you can you can rent the software just like Salesforce CRM. You can register the account. You can add on the sale uh, the, the, the sale guy. Enable them to work, collect the information without installing a huge server, a huge system. So now the the, the in the time for, for cloud based so, uh, software. You not own the software, you just rent the software. So the, the, the 
the major thing in just the data you need to capture, not the software anymore. You know that uh, Salesforce, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, they are the first one to bring uh, software as a service to, to, to the internet. At that time, their revenue was just 5 million. So last year, they are going to 10 million, 2,000 times difference. And their market cap, 19 million, more than Uber. And they grow, you can see, they grow like exponential growth. And that's kind of company, similar to this one, they, they provide a platform for 100,000 companies, not a single company. That's what will change. So imagine that you are a logistic company to have expertise. So what we do now is you, you select the, the system and you plug and you capture the data and you, you analyze the, the data to make your decision rather than selecting the software. Okay? Number four, augmented reality, now mainly I mean apply in the uh, warehouse. So you may see the, the Samsung Vision Big Pin or you can see the Google's Smart Glass where the picker wearing the, the glass and it will navigate you because in the warehouse about 60% cost related to picking operation and in picking operation searching account for about 50% or searching and traveling account for 50% of cost so that's why they apply this technology to guide the, 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 the picker, save the time of traveling inside the warehouse. Now this solution you can see uh, around one to two thousand one smart lab like that but can improve the productivity um, two or three times. Okay. And number three, uh, you see about the uh, visualization, uh, what we call it now? Visualization operation. Okay. Now every device has connected, every device you can install the sensor and transform information to, to, to a server for processing. Imagine that your your forklift, the, the trucking, your uh, red truck, your pilot, even your pilot, you can track the pilot. You can know that one picker travel uh, what is, for example, on the slide, in the heat map of a warehouse, you can see where the area that picker have to move in uh, must. Then you decide how to reslot the warehouse. You pick the fast moving SVU to the easy, tech, easy, convenient ways. So it saves your time, save, uh, uh, improve the, the productivity of the picking guy in the warehouse. Through technology, uh, IoT device has like that, it can enable. Now in, in, in real life, it's now in cheap. You know, no longer need the uh, Wi-Fi. Usually, previously, we have to import uh, industrial Wi-Fi to correct a warehouse. Now, there are some other technologies like uh, ultra waste or uh, um, low Bluetooth energy. That certain technology are cheaper, affordable, and easy to install, to track, okay? Uh, the last thing in the update of technology is the robotic. We make familiar with the case of uh, Amazon with the robot named Kiva. Right? Kiva was acquired by Amazon in, in 2012 for 750 million USD. And now the only Amazon all the technology. But the good thing is other companies can apply that, that uh, develop the technology. For example, Great Orange, Great Orange is an uh, India-based uh, startup. Just four years, from 2014 to now, they implement about 20 projects globally, e-commerce for factory, high-value factory robotics. And that uh, with a uh, big volume, that significant impact in terms of productivity and cost, and especially in the country where whatever are not expensive, for example, Japan, Korea, or even the US. Okay? So those technology are now uh, more affordable, uh, scalable, and a lot more to come. You may see that uh, if you track on the, the, the growth of startup, there are more than, I think, three, more, more than 30 billion funds in a venture capital were invested to uh, startup related to, to logistics in during last 
last two, three years. Okay, so in the report of BCG um, mentioned about in the blockchain team and how we, how logistic uh, company can grow, can differentiate. They mentioned or uh, one of that, well, we have to adopt and we have to, to capture the trend of technology. Because technology will be the key factor to enable we compete the way we compete in in the new world. Okay. So uh, in the same report, they mentioned about the six um, six mega train in the world and that impact to uh, sorry and that will impact to eight uh, area of 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 logistics of so like what then? Yeah, uh, one more slide. Uh, backward, sorry, backward, one more slide. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I just highlight, I just highlight some trends that you may play in, for example, starting this year, in Vietnam, every new truck had to comply with uniform standard, CO2 emission standards. It means that the cost in their car to change in the future, there will be more um, electric, electric truck rather than uh, traditional fuel truck. So that impacted the cost, that impacted the, uh, the logistic operation. And those trade, without technology, without consolidation, that will uh, nightmare to consume internal cost. Okay, so overall, in the world now, technology are uh, involved more in, uh, in the logistics. And is it affordable, is it scalable, and what we, from big company to small company, what we need to, to see, to monitor the project and look at apply, because the cost of applied those new technology is e very cheap. Actually, most of them are on the cloud-based service, on the rental service, rather than invest in a fuel solution. Okay, so let me move to Vietnam, okay? I think in the morning, uh, there are some speakers update you a lot about the development of the state in Vietnam. So what you can see so far uh, last in this year, World Bank Bank Vietnam at the 39th position, the highest level uh, during the last six uh, eight years regarding the logistic performance index. And in that the, the key feature uh, that I can I, I want to emphasize is the tracking uh, traceability and uh, Tracking and traceability because that reflects the, the, the capability to capture information and share the information. And in the report by Vietnam Logistic Association, there are 78% agree that logistic create advantage for logistic company. However, in Vietnam, logistic technology application is still slow. But the good thing is we live in the world what we say, uh, two speed world. Two speed world means that low speed in Japan, in uh, America, in, in uh, Europe. But the high growth speed come from Asia, uh, Africa, and Latin America. So Vietnam among the top uh, middle and low income company in terms of logistics performance, as you may see. So here are some case study from Vietnam side, just to bring you uh, update. The real one that I, I know and I can share. Okay, this first case is uh, from uh, Express Company. They they need to monitor around 1,000 one thousand shipment uh, from the park store per day. And they need to organize around 12 uh, warehouse across the country. And they need a solution to monitor the truck. There are about 300 to 500 truck need to, to run every day to carry from Hub to hub, okay. So uh, usually they use uh, telegram, they use Jalo to call, to order, to control the driver manually. It takes them about ten to uh, thirty uh, planner, transport planner, just calling, update, tracking, and all of that. Just similar to thousand company in Vietnam. So uh, a software company, uh, actually SmartLock. We, we offer the solution to monitor the truck in uh, transportation management. 
And we just see the plan. We bring all of the people, the driver, the truck planner, and the accountant, and even customer on a single system. So every uh, motion or action, any action of this guy we can be seen by the other guy. And the whole chain of information are connected and run smoothly. So that helps them to, to uh, smoothly scale their business with the fears of, of, of mistakes, fears of uh, cost, you know, of, of late delivery or of poor performance. Uh, how to work? Their driver, driver now has a smartphone, so they receive the order on the smartphone just like you were driver. When they go to the warehouse to pick up, they just use their smartphone to scan item by item. They cannot miss counting. And when the, the truck leaves the warehouse on the, on the way, they can record any uh, accident, any cost incurred during the trip, like fuel, like policemen, or accident risk, or, or whatsoever. And when they get to the destination, they charge in the car, they can scan to confirm that item delivered. And, and shut up. When they finish scanning, then the order comes late, they got a message to go to the next destination. Just like you were driving. Simple like that. And that enables the whole system easier, less paper, and supporting scalable uh, business. From the management people, they can see the, the chart. Uh, that cuts the mouse. Okay, I can do that. Okay, the second case. The, uh, another logistic company, uh, SmartLock have opportunity to, to support client, uh, design or implement the software, the process to, to monitor for everyday client, and we apply scanning and uh, live the the tally. Instead of you see the paper, you just pick up and see the line here and put on the white box. It's same thing about 70% versus traditionally and every item here are track by barcode. Okay, now this warehouse they run for they take an affordable 2 million fees per day with 20 uh, employees to ship. This is another warehouse we call a BNA warehouse, very narrow. In Vietnam, just a few uh, wonderful IT next project, uh, for example, Vietnam View. Meaning you, they deploy, uh, they deploy the ASRS warehouse or fully automation warehouse for 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 new uh, for, for new production. And one of one of the modern warehouse is the DNA warehouse. They are in an uh, area of ten thousand square meter. There are eighteen pallet, eighteen thousand pallet location. And the special special red truck can can reach up to uh, 15, 15 meter versus the max of the red truck is 11, it's uh, higher than 40%. And this warehouse uh, located in South Town area. Uh, there are uh, one another, uh, Smart Tracker. Smart Tracker is, is popular in the world. We just try to create a, a, a portable, like a smart lock, a box like this. They can have to track the location, the temperature, the humidity of any object if you track for example trailer, container, parking, or temperature in the warehouse, people don't need to sign or to record daily the system to do that. And you can manipulate the data because they send the data directly to the internet real time. Okay, I think we'll go to the some last slide. So just key take, key take away, I think just three things. Uh, I believe if you agree with me, the technology will change the, 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 the whole world. And in logistics, it will happen very soon. And your role now as an end user, you just pick up the technology. Uh, Vietnam, Vietnam, I mean, in the two speed world, Vietnam, so low staff, but we speak high in coming here. So, like uh, Mr. Abraham update, thanks to the some, some positive factor like the trade war, the world trade, right? the volume will increase. And what we hope, we, we, we need uh, more agile 
Because when the demand in green will not show it sustainable or not. So we need an agile, agility in the supply chain. So technology can help you that. And the last thing uh, is the interesting topic, the collaboration. In the shipping line, you, see, you can see that there are many alliances. And in, in uh, for example, in now supermarket delivery in Vietnam, there are about 900 supermarkets in Vietnam, and supermarkets located at a very high, con high content area. And the cost to delivery to supermarket in Jungkook was an other. And what you can see now, the only solution is that we reduce the number of trucks to deliver to the supermarket. And the only way to do that is collaboration. Imagine that right now, Procter & Gamble or Friday & Gambina or, or, or Unilever, the every truck they deliver to supermarket just yield about 40 to 50 percent of the truck capability. If we combine three, four manufacturers together and we align with the supermarket on the order schedule, we can combine all of that. So the truck is full, fully utilized, and more efficient can reduce the waste. So that's what we call collaboration in terms of logistics. In the market, we may compete brand from compete to brand. But in, in, in logistics, people need to connect, people need to work together to the right thing. Thank you for your attention. Well, we will have five minutes for the Q&A session, so uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. in the of cost, because cost in the system to capture information, centralized in very expensive percentage centralized model. So, uh, for example, in, in trucking, we can see the, the, the story like this. The driver no need the paper. The driver receiving the order through mobile app. On the mobile, you can see a QR code. So when they are uh, on the way, the mobile app sends the location to the warehouse. The warehouse know the location of the driver and they prepare the cargo in the plane. When the driver goes to the warehouse, they just show the, the scan and the warehouse just scan the barcode. Then the system, the blockchain enable that to confirm this is the, the right guy and you can deliver the cargo to that guy without question. And thanks to the smart contract, smart contract automate the KPI performance measurement. For example, if the driver Alright, all time, if the driver delivers in full, so the payment can be completed easily through the blockchain network. So that's what we, we are developed now to enable, to facilitate the, the relationship between uh, truck delivery and uh, the shipper and uh, like the, the client. So all of those information are validated, stored, decentralized and uh, at a very cheap cost. So we expect within, uh, I think, one year, we can bring that solution uh, to the market to enable uh, trucking business in Vietnam. Yeah, please. Yeah, so you were talking about collaboration and uh, uh, logistic network. Yeah. I guess this was a more for the local business in Vietnam, right? Yeah. And uh, you were talking that uh, is that Smartbook is developing something like a platform to um, it's just like Grab or Uber yeah. for business, right? Could you please talk more about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or maybe on the market now, do you have any other packages or anything? Yeah, yeah, okay. In the world now, the trend of our platform connect to sharing the resource in popular now. For example, in, in Europe, in Germany, you may know about Sunny Moon. That is a startup that could connect our own uh, truck driver. In, uh, in Belgium, uh, there are a company named Avantida. They share with the container, the trucking container. In China, there are a company named OTMS, very similar to the smaller movie. We connect the power with the truck. In Vietnam now, there are many startups have the same idea. We want to all see the same thing in the empty return. Empty return truck is waste to the whole society, right? 
So the, the way of the approach of smart lock is just different a little bit because we can track the transaction from end to end. It means you, you can match the MP truck with the MP title, okay. But number one, though uh, the other startup cannot make it uh, automatically to connect to big and free one uh, cheaper like Rotten Gamble and Premier or, or, or Betsy. We, we can connect to those. And then secondly, we have the system to monitor to monitor the truck. Every single truck, you can see the history of the driver, you can know the size of the, the, the trailer, you can know the history, you can know the performance. So all of those information can build you a trust. Trust is very important. Because for you, a practically easy, but you can give your cargo to a very straight person whom you don't know yet. In the system, you can provide history, information, to make you more confident. And to facilitate that, smart lock will play the role to, to manage the transport process for the shipper to enable the hack. Because the FDA return truck is the cheapest truck in the market. Yeah, that's what we find this role. Well, thank you. May I have one more question? So what do you think is the, the biggest challenge now for you as well as your competitor to make that more popular in Vietnam? Because last week, uh, they should on it. Uh, it seems like most companies still want to have their uh, own yeah. system, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Uh, the more challenging to me, like I explained on the structure in town, that the reason is that time uh, because we need to get enough uh, on both sides. We need to have truck and we need to have cargo on the same. So uh, we try to approach, we try to call support from shipper. But for example, I go to Procter Gamble and tell them, give me your product. I need a discount or transportation. And if I fail to deliver the service, I pay you uh, penalty. And they give me the problem. With the problem, I can recruit the uh, trucking network. Currently, there are about 50 logistics companies in the network and around 5,000 trucks. So, assuming the, the uh, empty, empty rate of the truck is about uh, like 10% or 20% per day, we have around 700 trucks empty per day to provide this help. So now the, the major problem is at the time, we need to grow very fast. Because when we have the problem, we have the truck, we have the truck, we have the problem. Right, so that's the security, that's the problem for the moment, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We still have one more yeah. question. Yeah. Last one. Uh, thank you for the presentation. It's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, for me, I love technology. And I love the solution as well for the end because to get the uh, more volume with the discount, very, very good idea. Yeah. My comment for you is uh, thinking about the transportation liability. Yeah. Thinking about it. Yeah. Because when I was the, sh um, when I uh, am the uh, cargo owner, yeah. and then hand over to the very strange transporter, yeah. this is happen the liability. And thinking about it before you have the better solution. Yeah. So uh, this is the question for from my side. Uh, you have the very good solution for the for the logistic company. Thinking about the solution for the logistic user rather than, for example, if I am the logistic user, I have the thousand, I have a hundred of the carrier, and I have the demand, I have the order, and uh, my engineer outside have the uh, they, they need the order, they have a smartphone, and they raise the order, and I, they need to know who is the best carrier to choose and how to track it. So, so uh, the first comment for you is thinking about the transportation liability somewhere in the midway, the last, and who, who knows, who knows it. Yeah. So thinking about it. So the next one is the uh, transportation solution 
about the logistic users. So I'm a bit jealous because you know that you say something, uh, a solution for the logistic provider most of the case. So I'm a bit jealous. So I'm a logistic user. I'm thinking about the PMS, yeah. thinking about, yeah. about, you say about the, uh, some the uh, giant yeah. guy like Oracle or they, they react to PMS. So thinking about it, can yeah. you be the best? Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. And uh, thank one, uh, one small question to follow up with uh, this question. Uh, sorry, uh, because uh, for me, uh, when I think simply, yeah, uh, I look at the operation side. Yeah. Uh, because you said that you would consult. Yes. Yeah, the main model is to consult. Yes. Can go with the truck. Yeah. But in case that you want to see, they have every different requirements like. Yeah. Uh, We didn't know what is the premier cargo or the premier trip in China. But in our system, we see everything online. So every trip that the driver delivers, we know what they carry on the line. So for example, some cargo cannot contain together. Like food cannot go with uh, heavy coal kind of car. So the first uh, example. Or second, in the stacking or loading standard in the, the trailer. Usually, uh, the carrier or the shipper has to let us know the standard, and we sign the contract. And we, as a small we have to do uh, training for the driver. It's really a tough job at the first time because our people have to be every warehouse, every car, uh, truck parking, yards, and we have to train the, 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 the driver. Even now, the driver is not very pragmatic. There are no standards. There are no, like this driver is going in safety standard or not, or this driver has experience with that car or not. We didn't know that. So what we try to do, we, we digitalize the level of the driver. So if the driver is ranking like five stars, they have category in terms of safety, they have category in terms of loading standard. So the people will assign two appropriate cheaper. So that's what we find. And, and later on, when we accumulate enough number of the shipment and the driver, machine, what do you call machine learning, they will assign, they will pick up the ROI driver for the cargo. And for liability, we will play the role to take responsibility. So if any trouble happens to your cargo, we can go directly to solve the issue. Thank you for questions. Okay, thank you all for your questions and thank you Mr. Kim for your sharing.